Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where today it is another wonderful morning here at our workshop where I am actually a little sad. You may notice that the only piece of new uh, clothing we have is the scarf we bought previously from the whole dance competition, and we don't have any more of that dance outfit that I thought was so cool, because sadly I wasn't able to make enough of the, uh, oh, where there they are, the competition medals. Now, we actually do have a decent number, but only enough to buy one other piece of the outfit. And that would have looked weird, so if I couldn't have bought two at least, I didn't want to buy any, and I figured, what the heck, we'll save them for, I'm assuming, another competition we'll have in the future. With my luck, we never will, but hey... Oh well, we at least got a cool scarf out of the thing. And uh, yeah, uh, the, the worst part about it was we could only dance three times. It, to buy the two pieces of clothing I wanted, we would have required four dances. And I was completely wrong, unfortunately, about the time of how long the dance competitions take. Uh, two episodes, I thought it was like an hour and a half or so because I honestly wasn't paying too close of attention to the clock. But yeah, it turns out it was two hours on the dot. So yeah, you can only do three per day out of a two-day competition. And with me only being able to functionally do the medium or normal setting or whatever it was, and only making 90 at a time, it just wasn't enough to buy the clothing. Which saddens me, but oh well, oh well. Hopefully in a future competition we'll be able to buy those things later. Granted, like I did say last episode, that does mean we'll be way over-leveled for it at that point, but... Uh, <laughs> We'll see what happens. We'll see how it all goes. What are we now, like 15 or 16 level? I don't know. But as for what we're doing this episode, we need a lot more of those data disks because I need to build a forge so we can make the upgraded weapons and, most importantly, the antique pistol that we did get the uh, blueprint for from the mystery man. And so, yeah, we need to go back into the ruins. While we're there, I'm assuming if we go deeper we'll start finding iron, so we're gonna go take a look at that as well. Eh, let me empty these things real quick before I leave. Do I actually have anything else to... Yeah, I do. I do, actually. Let's put these in there, too. We'll need a little bit of this. But yeah, I'm assuming, though, with the deeper areas, we're gonna get the iron, which we can then use for those weapons, and... I assume we're also going to need it for the gun, too, once we do eventually get that. That would make sense for the gun to require iron. But, who knows? We'll certainly find out soon enough. Well, I mean, probably a couple more episodes because we're going to have to go find the things, all the data disks, then go research the forge, then we're going to have to wait for the forge research to be done. Oh, Jesus, we need a lot of, uh, we need a lot of data disks so we can try and hurry that along. <laughs> <laughs> and then, finally, we can make a gun and iron weapons. Ah, boy, that's gonna be a lot. That's gonna be a lot. Oh, well, to our mail, and then the ruins. Oh, anything from the church. Cool, 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 cool. Citizens of Sandrock, I've been informed by the uh, Terran government that the train service to Sandrock will cease indefinitely due to the damage to the train tracks and bridge caused by the Giegler Lizardmen roaming the area across the Shonash Canyon Bridge. This directly affects our water supply as half of our water comes via the Atera Sandrock Rail Link. Oh no, a town meeting will be held today at 6. Ah, crap. To discuss how to deal with these events. May the light always find you, Matilda. Oh, man. All right, so we're not going to have as much time down in the... Well, we should still be able to make it up here by then. What do we get from the Civil Corps? Oh, cool. The stuff I commissioned. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. We got one of the engines. Some more data disks. Some ruin tokens. Magnificent! We'll have to swing by there not too long to uh, actually go and do another commission from them. But yeah, let's pop that in there too. I'll keep you on me for now because you go inside with my other tokens. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to put you away. I don't need you now. I've got a new scarf. Oh, well, what are you going to do? All right, to the ruins, to the ruins. Let's try and get that done and... Uh, how oh boy, then make our way back to town for the meeting. Alright, to the ruins we go. Oop, and while we're at it... Jerky. Perfect. 
All right. Let's head on down. Oh, I've got to buy another pass. Oh, man. I mean, it's only 200 and we've actually been making a good deal of money from things. Oh, and I just thought about two. We, oh, there's all those nice festival commissions that we could be doing. Oh, there's so many things. But we need more discs. We need more discs. Because not only are we you know, needing them for the uh, research stuff, but there was also, was it the... What? What just happened? Uh... Hello? Oh, it's the research dude, I think. From the messed up tie and shirt. Oh yeah, hey, what up? What the hell are you down here for? Did I miss... Did well, I entirely miss a uh, quest marker? I predict that the Civil Corps would show up any minute now to rescue me, but uh -huh. I didn't expect them to send some random individual. Nevertheless, you are here now. Proceed with your extraction plan. I won't complain. Dude. Dude. I came here to get discs. This is not what I wanted today. This is not what I wanted at all! Oh no! Where the hell are we? This isn't the normal- Oh, crap. You do have a plan, right? I don't. Wait, wait. By the look on your face, Perhaps you're not a rescuer, but a fellow prisoner instead. Oh. Okay, well, you can join the club and sit over there while we wait for the proper authority. Yeah, no, I gotta get out of here, man. I, I came here for a reason. Oh, I'm actually kind of annoyed right now. Did I, was I not paying attention? Well, I mean, I always am only like half paying attention. But was there like a quest marker on the mini-map that I didn't see as I was walking over here? Which... Crap, I die. I don't want this now. <laughs> Hold on. I recognize you. Yeah, you better. You're the new builder. I come to you every couple of days. Perhaps we don't have to wait. With my intellect and your logistical aptitude, uh -huh. there may yet be new possibilities to extricate ourselves from this predicament. I mean, let's hope so. Let's look around this area to see if there's anything we can use to escape, relics or otherwise. Oh, I don't even have my scanner or jetpack on me. Son of a... <sighs> All right, we're tracking this now. Oh, hey, dude, your pick hammer. You should probably have that on you. Perhaps if this machine were repurposed somewhat, it could be fitted with an engine. With uh -huh. enough propulsion, we could likely fly through that hole in the ceiling. Uh-huh. However, any minor miscalculation in trajectory might cause us to die. Okay. Which would be suboptimal. It really would Let's be, yes. Let's put this one down as plan Z. Ah, oh, right. Or perhaps just use your pick hammer to break it down into scrap. I'll leave it to your discretion. Yeah, I don't like the whole dying thing. We're gonna break it down. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be other options. I'm I'm actually quite intrigued that maybe you could do multiple things. Gather damage ladder. Yeah, there's a ladder over there we can take instead of death. <laughs> oh wait, oh yep, I had, I didn't look behind me before. I was like, yeah, I should probably do that. Hey, we got damaged ladder pieces. We're fine. We're fine. Did I get anything fun from that mechanical scrap? I didn't really pay attention. No, oh, just, you know, normal things. Also, can I get... Ooh, hello. Is this better than mine? Total strength 13. Mining yield plus 11. Nah, mine's better. Granted, he's got, when mining minerals, the chance of getting rare ore is increased. Ooh. Eh. I made mine. I like it better. Wood, stone, metal, scraps. These things are useful to you, are they not, Builder? I mean, yes, of course. I must admit, I find using such basic components to solve our predicaments somewhat inelegant. It doesn't matter if it's elegant, we just need to get the crap out of here. Regardless, Builder, I recommend you collect these materials. Yeah. Uh -huh. They may prove useful in our journey to the service. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, this really would have made sense for a better quest to do when we first came into this place. At this point, it's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, we're well, no, we're getting this, aren't we? Okay. I was about to say, which pile of things? Hello, scrap. This machine reminds me of something very obscure. Obscure? It's a robot. Something you never would have heard of. It's a robot. We've in certain old met literature. It was imagined that time travel might one day be possible. Wait, what? If only I could go back in time and warn myself not to travel into this tunnel. Yeah, but then you'd probably cause a paradox, so then who would come back to warn you? It's just... That's, that's always why I hate time travel stuff. <laughs> I could also tell my past self that you'd be falling down here around this time, and then send myself to rescue you, solving this entire ordeal. Oh, that could that work is, better. If my past self wasn't too busy right now. 
Wishful yeah. thinking, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Also, the fact that I did not mute myself before falling in here means that I do not uncover the secrets of time travel on this particular timeline. Indeed. Or is there a reason I would have allowed this to happen? Yeah, or, you know, could have caused some other paradox. It's wibbly wobbly timey wimey. That's why, again, I don't like time travel. Except, of course, Doctor Who. I don't know why. Doctor Who is like the one time travel thing I can do. Any other time travel media, I tend to just go, ugh. <laughs> In any case, this machine would probably do us better as scrap. Yeah, definitely. Can you break it down with your pick hammer? That's the plan. Oh, I'm not losing any stamina doing this. Time is also not moving forward. Well, we may not get around to doing the uh, the town meeting today because I figured maybe time was progressing. But no, it's just like at the, uh, oh god, I forget the name of the other ruins place we went into. Where we have no, ex no movement of time. Uh, boy, alright, another ladder. There we go. And yeah, just build this. The skies for answers. That's entirely the reason I'm in this predicament in the first place. Mm-hmm. Well, Builder, our objective is rather straightforward. Indeed it's it is. Not. Exit through that gap above. Indeed, a mere difference in altitude has managed to contain us here. Yep, that is the, I mean, yeah, that'll that'll certainly do it. I could build something here to get us closer to the exit if I had enough materials. Mm, pay me no mind, Builder. Complaining won't improve our situation. I suggest we continue looking around. I mean, I think I got everything, honestly, but you know, I'll give it another look real quick just to be on the safe side of things. Uh, but yeah, it does look like we do only have the one path for working on this. That's sad. I was kind of hoping maybe there was like a multiple path scenario here. Yeah, no, there's nothing over there. All right, back to making the one and only ladder that we can possibly make. Actually, hold on a moment. Anything up here? No. And ladder. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, using the environment to bridge the gap between us and that opening up there. Brilliant! I mean, I just make a, made a ladder, dude. In any case, let's save our celebrations for the surface. After you, Builder. Got it! Away! To the surface so then I can come right the back, right the hell of the crap back down. Oh my god, and where am I going to be surface-wise? Am I going to be back up at the top of, like, the salvage yard? If so, oh, I made it down the elevator! Oh, where are we going to be? Where are we going to be? Where are we going to be? Finally. Oh, thank God, it's just so here. It's that you were the next to fall into that cavern. Yeah, so hey, why'd you come here? Science. Yeah, yeah, okay, clearly. All right, that's a that's a good reason. According to several core survey reports, I deduce the likelihood of uncovering a usable equatorial mount in these Ooh, rooms to be what? upwards Wait, of 99.9%. Interesting. Unfortunately, despite my in-depth and thoroughly digestible explanation, None of the Civil Corps members were able to comprehend the significance of an equatorial mount. Mm -hmm. Lastly, it became imperative that I come here myself, and hence, our untimely meeting. Got it. My venture proved not only unfruitful, but also has caused a delay in my research. I must be heading back to the research center to make up for lost time. Perhaps I'll hire someone to continue to search for me. <sighs> well, clearly it's gonna be us, so what exactly are you looking for? I'm glad you asked. In order to facilitate the expeditious referencing and notation of celestial coordinates, mm -hmm. a rare old world relic is required. The equatorial mount. Mm -hmm. By aligning one rotational axis of a telescope's mount parallel to our planet's axis of rotation, an internal mechanism known as a clock drive will rotate the telescope over a period of a day in contrast with the rotation of our planet in order to compensate for its motion. Good times. Once the state has been achieved, one need only adjust the right ascension and declination dials on the equatorial mount Indeed. to find any celestial body in the sky in only a matter of moments, based, of course, on the celestial coordinates. Wonderful. Of course, I actually do astronomy stuff, so yes, In any of course. case, I must be going. I will find some way to seek out an equatorial mount at a later date. Yeah, let me help you. I mean, uh, well, I might as well. Hmm. Render unto builders the things that are builders. Indeed, you would be much more suited to the task. Surely you'll be able to find pieces of an equatorial mount in the abandoned ruins, likely on a lower level. Cool, that's where I'm heading, lower levels. Once you've found the pieces by diving in the ruins, you can use the restoration machine at Katori's museum to make it whole again. Please bring it to me at that point, and not before. Goodbye. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Can I have a discount on my next research? I need to forge, sir. And I'm out. <laughs> All right, back into the place. 
<laughs> okay, windmill other veins. When do we start finding iron here? Oh, hey, engines down here. Beast head jade chalice. Weird. No, it's still tin and copper. What the hell? Okay. Gable stayed bridge. Weird. Why is that? Hey, equatorial mount parts. Oh, so that's what it looks like in here. Alright, so it's in uh, those three layers, and I'm not seeing iron. Oh, no. See, that was the whole reason I wanted to come down here, besides, of course, the data disks. Where the hell do we get iron, then? Well, that's worrisome. Well, I mean, we're still gonna go down here. Oh, I didn't realize there was a button here. Hello. What? What? <laughs> we can upgrade this thing? Oh my god, I have those... I have plenty of old parts back home. Oh, cool. Larger scan area? Oh, neat. Okay, we're gonna... I didn't realize we could do that. I'd never noticed that button down there before. My god. Alright, well, down we go. We're still gonna work our way down this place anyways. We're gonna have to do this for this mission eventually. So, yeah, enter here and we'll just work our way down. Gaining, uh, discs as we go. Well, I'm thinking, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do the, uh... The town meeting next episode. Ah, oh, water's gonna get more expensive, isn't it? Uh, I need more dew collectors. God, without the current rate, they only get, like, two a day, usually. So, like, the current rate, I'm gonna need five uh, to get, like, one barrel a day. Maybe I shouldn't be focusing on the tin ore right now. I mean, I'll grab this tin ore that we have right here in front of us, but then I should probably focus on uh, getting down levels. Yep, and all that time spent underground with the with the professor was only like 14 minutes. <laughs> this time is now moving forward. You know what? I actually do need a bit more copper now too, so we will grab this and then focus on moving out. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we do get copper scrap regularly, but still. We need larger amounts for future projects. Yep, got it, and... Oh, add it for a moment. There we go. Got it, okay. Alright, where's the door? Alright, we got a lot of things down there. Oh my god, where is the door? Is it just like super far down there? Alright, I'm gonna dig down. Let's go! And... I hit floor. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. We can't get out. We can't get out. I was a little bit worried about the jack. Ooh, jetpack doesn't go for very long, does it? I'm gonna go this way. Alright. Oh, we're almost towards that. Whatever you are. Ah, oh, another toolbox. Deet. I still have no... Oh, there's the door. Oh, Jesus. Thank crap. All right, so we are just tunneling today. <laughs> oh, it works. It works. Uh, you know what? Well, might as well. I'm near this thing. Oh, another one of you. You know, I actually have a couple of artifact pieces. Maybe we might have enough. Oh, what the heck? Let's go towards these. Mine, might as well. Oh, uh, but no, 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 we- oh, what? They didn't say equatorial mounts were in this part of the area. Huh. Weird. Alright, you know what, well, I might as well actually go towards these things now. I was thinking we'd just go, uh... No, 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 let's work on getting to the next area. There we go, there's the door. Get it. We're through into the next room. Hey, oh, thank God it's an open one. Ooh, that's a lot of good tin and copper up there. But what do we got here? Ah, ha, ha, I see you. Yes, let's beeline down to the next area. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that there was supposed to be equatorial mounts in this in this zone, according to the, uh, the entrance. Weird. All right, well get ourselves to the next lair. Oh, we're almost through. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I gotta dig a little bit more. There we go. I assume just continue that way. Yes. 
Wonderful. Wait, hold on. Did I see something else over here? Oh, there. There. That's the exit to the next area. Sweet. All right. A lot more copper and tin as per usual. Beautiful. All right, yeah. Focus on the next zone. Oh, have also a new point. I really wish it told you a bit more clearly. Any dragons? What's as much do? Logging XP. You know what? This. This. I'm kind of tempted to do you. More mining experience. But, yeah, no. Let's get some more stamina from food items. Confirm. Beautiful. Alright, down we go and into the next lair. Alright, get all the things. Perfect. Alright, we're down into the next floor. And what time is it? Let's actually eat some of our jerky because we might as well. Hmm. Yeah, where am I going to find iron, though? I keep coming back to that. <laughs> the, these runes seem to be just copper and, uh... Copper and tin. Wait, hold on. Weren't the jerk? Wasn't the jerky? Am I thinking the wrong thing? Oh, jerky was straight up sam stamina. It was the other ones, the sand berries that do the stamina over time. All right, well, click, 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 click. There we go, and click. Let that roll for a bit. Ooh, hello. Oh my God, that is a long way down. Whoop. All right. Ooh, are those on this level? You know, I might as well grab these if they're right here. <gasps> Neat. All right, more random artifact pieces that I don't really have all the pieces for yet. <laughs> Ooh, robot. All right, hold on. Yeah, more stuff down there we'll have to come back for later. Oh, come on. Oh, I want to get in you. Let me rebuild you. Your arm's just right there. Just attach it and put some sort of power source in you. Ah, man. All right, through here. That's all right. Oh, all right. We go up and... Hmm. Oh, hello. First off. All right, we got things over there. Yeah, looks like we got a... Do a little jumping platform thing here. Well, we're rolling with it. Got it. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Aha, and there is the area to the next bit. All right. And perfect. All right. And then just make a hole here. Got it. And down we must go. Yeah, there it is. <gasps> oh, jump straight through. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always love when that happens. I, thought, I figured we'd have to go down a little bit closer, or a bit further. I mean, I could have looked at the actual door icon thing on the scan and it showed me the distance, but... Oh well. Here, let's do some more you. Scan. Alright, yeah, just continue working our way towards the next lair. How's our inventory doing right now? Because we do, we have been picking up a lot of, yeah, like, jeweled egg pieces and whatnot. Uh, wait, hold on. What the hell was one of those things? Microchips? Oh, cool. Look at that. Gecko station ruins? What? Where the hell are gek? Where the hell is the gecko station ruins? You know, I really haven't still explored a lot of the map because it hasn't let me go places. Like, I can't go that way, and I can't go that way. I have a feeling, though, we might be able to get that direction at some point. Also, there's a G there. Is that the gecko station ruins over that way? Oh, is that, like, where we gotta go through the robots over here? That would actually make sense with the microchip. Huh. Cool. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Oh, yep, yeah, just go this direction. And... Keep moving. Got to make sure that we can make it to other lairs. Still surprised we got that one piece of the equatorial mount, but, you know, alright, cool. 
One less we gotta find in the future, though, I mean, at the same time, with my luck. Ah, uh, well, hmm. Oh, got explosive! Where? Right there. <laughs> yep, I got a little hurt on that one. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried that we're gonna get copies of the equatorial mount parts, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it takes that into account. No idea. We'll have to see later. All right, more tin. Well, door. Huh? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. And we got a lot of data discs here today. This is wonderful. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need that. I need that. Wonderful. Yes, yeah, so let's let that go for a little bit. Boy, I wish it. I wish it went faster. <laughs> I think we get down to the next layer and then we leave and go to the researcher dude uh, to get the forge going. I think that'll be a good plan. And then next episode, we'll just pick up right from there and go to the town meeting because I am definitely going to be out of uh, stamina. <laughs> Oh, scan. There we go. Got it. All right. We get through here. I don't see anything. Besides the ore and another wall bit there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. What is that? Oh, God. Just another weird flat wall of rubble. Love it. Ooh, and we're in cave now. Interesting. Save some stamina for me for a bit, which is good. Alright, through here then. Oh god, we're going up. Oh, there we go. Ooh, caught up then down. Hey, it's the next zone! Awesome! Alright, down we go. And we're through. <laughs> Alright, so here's where we're going to end the ruin run. All right, and then, yeah, we'll go talk to the professor. Go and get the forge thing going. Oh, I always hate when it's at an angle like that. It just feels weird. Eh, it feels weird. All right, to the map, leave the ruins. Yep. All right, we got down pretty far. So now I'm wondering, then, are the gecko ruins where we'll find iron? How do we even get into them? Huh. Huh. I mean, they're blocked off for the time being. Maybe we can do something to unblock that? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out. I mean, I'm in pretty good with the Civil Corps now. Ish. <laughs> Alright. Let's roll this. Was that a freaking robot arm there today? Holy crap, it was. It. I don't remember this pile usually being here. Hmm. Weird. Alright. Well, let's go and have a chat with our researcher friend. And get our forge to be researched. Oh, yay. Then we'll be able to make all sorts of wonderful things. I want the gun. <laughs> I'm going to be able to start shooting my enemies. Oh, it'd be magnificent. Yeah, we're going to have to stop by the diner, too, to get some more stamina. Still, like, three more hours until the, uh, the meeting. Not bad, so yeah, stop by. We might be able to do a commission or two in that time. I mean, we'll hold off on that for the next episode. Yo! We need to so, get... chat first. Remember, I'm not interested in simply fragments of an old relic. Uh -huh. I want the whole device in one piece, ideally working. The Civil Corps keep bringing me rubbish. Okay. Once they even confused an actuator for a transistor. Really? Wow. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's actually kind of hard to believe. Okay. Well... I mean, not with those two. Never mind. Yeah, not with those two. It's not hard to believe. <laughs> okay, and we need... Forge Machine. Yes, 12. Mwahaha. <laughs> Research. And let's speed this thing up at least a day, because, yeah, we can't get two. Oh, so close to two. Yeah, just speed it up one day. All right, there we go. All right, out we go. Goodbye. Wonderful. Okay, and yeah, let's go get some food real quick, so we're gonna have a little bit more. Well, hmm. Let's look at the Let's look at the. Uh, let's look at the commission board. So yeah, if we can do like a, like at least one or two commissions before the meeting, that would be freaking awesome. 
Granted, again, we'll, pro we'll prioritize doing those next episode because, well, we're at the half hour mark today. And yeah, that whole time where we were spent frozen in time down there in the ruins, unfortunately, that really ruined my plans for the rest of the day here. Oh, good times. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? On oh, wait, oh, it's all. It's oh, actually, there's none. Wait, what? I thought we had those commissions for the whole week until you know the uh, until the festival. Well, I don't want to do any of these. I mean, the boards we could do, but honestly, I don't care to do any of them. Actually, maybe you. I know we have bloodstones, and we haven't made bloodstone cores. You know, what the hell? What the hell? Let's uh, track that one even. Do I need to like buy a bloodstone core thing here or something? Doesn't look it. Granted, we got a lot of things in here. Uh, seal bar. Now that's the fireworks, iron latch. So yeah, must be just an item we can straight up build. I'm intrigued. Let's go, before we end the episode today, let's go uh, take a look to see if I can in fact build this. Yeah, so in the next episode, we'll stop by the the saloon first thing, and then hit up the meeting, and then roll from there. Yes, wonderful. Alright. So do I not have to worry about accidentally maybe getting hit by the train anytime soon? <laughs> now with that being uh, the train not running? Oh, sweet! Oh, yeah, we can do that super quick. Nice. Thank crap I've been collecting those. Neat. Alright, well, we've got that commission done. We'll turn it in next episode. Uh, there we go. i got to drop some of this crap off inside. But yeah, I will do that off cam. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this episode today. And you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. Well, have a good one.